What What's am I up? Doing? How you doing, man? Good. How you doing? Good. What's up? Not much. Say how you doing. I like. I was gonna say I love your car. Oh, thanks, yeah. man. Awesome. Yeah. Is thought this, you is thought you're gonna hassle me. <laughs> oh, no, I love okay. your car. You, you work right here. Right on, brother. All right, yeah. take care, man. <laughs> good seeing you, dude. All right, have a good one. Welcome back to the channel, folks, and thank you for hanging with me this last month while we upgraded the stereo system from stock on my 2020 Hellcat Red Eye to what most people would agree is a totally stupid, obnoxious stereo system that a man my age should not have. But I love it, and I'm telling you, the finishing touches that I put on it, I'll share with you in the next video, just have made it perfect and way better than anything the dealer could have ever sold me, and I'm still right around $1,000. So today, I'm going to share with you a device, and we're going to install it in my car that promises to improve acceleration by 10%. But first, let's roll that intro. <laughs> All right, so before we get started, no, you're not seeing things. This is not Racer X. This is OC Motivator wearing Racer X gear that you can get on his website, on his channel. So go check him out, link in the description below. I wanna thank you, Racer X, for all the knowledge you bring to all of us out in YouTube land and the Mopar community and the overall car community because if it weren't for you, I would not be learning as fast as I'm learning about this car. You are the most knowledgeable guy I know out there and I look forward to meeting you one day. And thank you for sending me your merch. I will wear it proudly. And I sent you some of mine, so hopefully you get it. And when you wear mine, hopefully it does the same thing in reverse that yours does for me. When I wear your gear, I suddenly feel significantly smarter when it comes to this car. So I would expect when you wear my gear, my merch, that you're going to start forgetting things and putting huge speakers into your car and losing your mind just like I do. Just kidding. Thank you again for saying the merch. Love your channel. Everybody go subscribe to Racer X. The link is in the description below. Now let's go find out what is in this box that I got shipped me from Recklinghausen, Germany. Let's go open this sucker up from DTE Systems. By the way, I'm not gonna wear this stuff while I'm crawling all over the ground in my, you know, working on my car, folks, because I wanna keep this nice. This is good stuff. All right, so let's get down to business. We were gonna film this video inside my nice, ice cold, 74 degree house. And I've got like 15 teenagers in there right now and there's no way I'm going to be able to do it. So instead, you are outside with me and it's almost 100 degrees. It seems like the last four or five videos, I have literally risked getting heat stroke to make sure that I bring you content. So please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. It means the world to me. Now let's open this box on the trunk of my Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye. This was sent to me by DTE Systems, but let me tell you the story behind this. I, I got emailed from DTE Systems about, well, let's just go back. It's about July, middle of July, and they offered to send me this pedal box for free to review with no obligation to say good or bad about it. I mean, they, you know, obviously they'd love me to say something good, but there was no no uh, strict requirement to give it a good review, just an honest review, and I appreciate them for that. But I didn't respond, and I kind of blew it off. And I probably get, on a weekly basis, one or two offers to review things, and my channel's not big enough for it to be, in, in some cases, um, the best stuff in the world. So when Magnaflow reached out to me, I knew, boom, quality company. I wasn't familiar with DT Systems, and then a few months went by and I was having lunch with a buddy of mine and he had just bought a brand new Ford Raptor and he told me about this pedal box that he had installed. And I remembered getting that email back in July and I asked him about it and he said, it's the coolest thing. I mean, you've got, every car should have it. I mean, you've got to get it. And I said, well, I had an opportunity to get it and review it and I kind of blew it off. And he goes, dumb thing, you need to get it. So I wrote him back and graciously they still 
sent this to me. So this is a sponsored video by DT Systems, but I will show you they are they absolutely are not expecting me to review it positively if it's not a great product. So I'll be honest with you. And because I blow off 99% of the emails I get when it comes to sponsors, um, because frankly, I don't want to be beholden to anybody um, unless it's something really good, something really cool, something really quality, then I'm probably going to turn it down. That just is how it is. So um, let's check this thing out. So this came all the way from Germany, apparently. And the communication was interesting between me and them. Um, but they did a great job making everything really clear and simple. So, sent a nice little letter, paperwork, and they sent me the Plus with the app system. So this runs about $349 on their website, and you can check out their website in the link below in my description. And here is the pedal box, so let's throw that aside here. Very nice packaging, very professional, very high quality appearance. But let's open this box up. So everything that I've watched, it's pretty simple to install. So for me, as you all know, I need simple. After the stereo nightmare this last month, uh, my brain hurts. So here it is, pretty simple device. This is the remote, but you can also control it with an app on the iPhone and a plug that goes in between the plug from the computer to the accelerator pedal. And I'll show you how to install this thing in a second. And I'm thinking it's going to take maybe 10, 15 minutes to put the sucker in. And that's considering that I am not the most proficient installer of anything, as you all know from this last month of stereo videos. So that's it. It's that simple. This is the pedal box remote. It comes with some instructions, which, gentlemen, we all know we don't need instructions. Those just slow us down. We're going to try to wing this thing without them. And uh, I'm just kidding. I'll probably be looking at them, but off a of camera. But just roll with me on this for a minute. So now let's install this thing and see what it can do. All right, so the only tool that I think I need is this interior tool to pop off the clips down at the bottom. I'll show you those. So let's jump right in. All right, so on the Dodge Challenger 2020, probably most of them, you've got this piece here, which we're not going to touch. Then you've got this small piece right here, and it really just comes over to here. And there's couple of those little tabs here one here and one here and let's see if there's any others but let's get those out of here now remember I bought some extras of these you can get them on Amazon I'll put a link below so that you uh, when you break them which you will you have some extras All right, then this thing just falls right down look at that piece of cake it's getting a little stuck here but pull it back Set it aside. So what did we learn in one of the last videos? Is any little light, this one's not on, thank goodness, but I'm assuming it's a light, as hot as a mother So you don't want to touch it, or it'll ruin your day. So that one's not on, so we're good. All right, so what I've watched on YouTube so far is, this is pretty dummy proof, but let's see if I can get my camera up here so you can see. It's this plug where you see this thing right here, that's the plug that you're gonna yank out. All right, so just pop this plug out, squeeze in, pops it out super easy. Take the plug that looks like that plug. Where the f did it go? Grab the pedal box plug. It looks like that one, which is this one. It's the only one that'll go in there. Put it the right way, obviously. And then plug this one in, oops, here. Make sure they're tight. So that took literally all of about two minutes once I was underneath here. Sweating my ass off. And now I don't know how I'm gonna get out. Now we're just gonna fish this thing back in place where it was. There we go. As my elbow hits my power steering wheel. And steering will adjust. All right. So that's back in place. That was pretty easy. All right, so let's program this thing. Turn the car on, the accessory on, and then hold the plus and minus until that starts blinking. 
let go, and then press the gas pedal a few times. This is called Perfect Tune. Tunes it to your sensitivity of your accelerator. Don't make fun of my feet. I don't drive in flip-flops. Don't worry. But I will drive barefoot. All right. Then press and hold the top button and it's ready to go. All right, let's connect the app so we can control this thing with our phone. Um, first thing, you gotta make sure that you have your Bluetooth on. Whether it's Android or iPhone, um, the app is available on the Google Play Store or the App Store. So download the app. And for me, of course, it's an iPhone. And then open up the app and then set up your account. And once that's done, hold down the plus until the light starts blinking, or actually until it just goes blue. Oh, there it is. The light's blue. Now it's going to be searching for the pedal box. And if everything goes perfectly, this is going to find it. Connect now and enter pass key. Connecting the pedal box. So it's six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pair. And there I am. So I've got City, Sport, and Sport Plus. That's the three settings. I've got it in Sport Plus, and you can change the sensitivity. Pretty cool, right? So let's make it super sensitive and see if I can uh, smoke my tires out of my driveway and go see how this thing drives. All right, so let's take this thing for a ride with the new pedal box installed, set to Sport Plus, super sensitivity all the way up and find out what this thing's made of not even touching the gas pedal i'm just rolling out now i don't want to launch my car through uh wife's bmw so whoa sheesh all right that's different <laughs> that's way different whoa okay all right people this is nuts i swear you're seeing the first reaction That'll, that'll shock you. So if the first time you, you drive this thing is in, I mean, literally there's no play in the in the throttle. Ooh, that feels good. That feels really good. That feels like I, uh, like, oh my gosh, like a car should feel. And, oh my God. I mean, this thing's already really fast, as you all know, um, but now there's no play. Like I've got it on Sport, max sensitivity and it is like I mean when you first put this thing in be careful at a light you if you think you're going to tap on just lightly tap on the gas and slowly take off that's not gonna happen so I'm gonna dial it back just a little bit because that's a little shocking I mean if I was racing this thing that would be cool because there is I mean it's a tenth of a second maybe um, or more that you definitely feel like this thing's moving quicker but the play in the gas pedal is gone now I'm shocked I wouldn't have thought to buy one of these things because it just seemed a little gimmicky but I'll tell you it's no gimmick this is the real deal folks this thing is is serious I mean it's it seriously changes how the car feels and with as much horsepower as I'm sitting on right now to have even more sensitive look at that I mean I just tap the wheel I was concerned that it would be whoa be dangerous because and just jump and be jerky but no you you just get what you normally get after about a quarter of an inch or you know I don't know geez probably a quarter of an inch that's gone the slack is gone and it just goes instantaneously even when you're driving <laughs> so it'll take a minute to get used to no question I'm going to I'm gonna drive with this thing on all the time and uh, I imagine you'll probably change your gas mileage a little, but that's okay. I don't worry about gas mileage on this car. That's not why I bought it, uh, because you're getting to the gas a little bit faster, I imagine. Um, but there was a McLaren 570S the other day that smoked me off the line. I wonder if this would help me. Probably not, but nonetheless, it definitely feels like there is no, no lag. Now, I've got it in just the middle sensitivity, just right there middle maybe the first notch up actually 
So I'm gonna go all the way back to the top and then it just it just takes off. <laughs> That's insane. Wow! This is probably one of the coolest things for 350 bucks you could buy for your car. And I don't know, I, I don't know if it's gonna change my zero to 60 and maybe we'll do some tests on another video, but this thing just absolutely launches. I mean, I look, this, I can't wait till this light changes because I wanna feel this thing go. Let's go, let's go. Whoa, whoa. So I'm gonna try to take off in second gear because this thing likes to spin the tires in first gear. It's, I mean, it's a fast car, but this is how it should be. Folks, this is how a Hellcat should be. This is how a muscle car should be. You, just as soon as you get into that gas pedal, the car goes. What this seems to be doing is making the car, let me go into second gear here. Making the car, yeah, still, still has it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's fast anyways, but this definitely makes it faster. So look, I'm not gonna keep saying the same thing over and over again. I will just tell you right now, for 350 bucks, they're not paying me to say this. They sent this thing to me for free. If it sucked, I would put it back in the box. Everybody out there knows I don't need $350. I mean, if it's a cool thing, I'll buy it myself. Um, these guys were awesome enough to send it to me and my friend recommended it to me. And both of them were absolutely correct in how incredible this thing feels and drives. I wonder what, let's go in and try a different mode. Let's go to, and by the way, the cool thing about this is it will, um, whatever mode it's in when you turn off the car is the mode it's going to be in when you turn on the car. So let's go into, we're in city now. So city feels a little bit more like what it used to feel like. So that's cool. So I can go back to, I mean, I, it feels a little bit more responsive. Let's go to sport. Sport, yeah, just a little bit more. Exactly what you would think. It's a little bit more responsiveness than Sport Plus. And it's just, it's just instant. If you touch it, it just goes. That's pretty cool. So the biggest difference is from a straight stop to taking off. So while you're driving, I don't know that it's that big of a difference. I mean, it's, you know, this car has a lot of horsepower anyway, so I feel it. But from a straight stop, I mean, it's like you tap the gas, but it's not dangerous where if you rest your foot on the gas that the car takes off, you can still lightly apply the gas. But I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna give you the power, power right out of the gate, right out of the gate like that. Oh my gosh, this is really cool. All right, folks, so that's the pedal box. It's my honest review. I love it, it's really cool. I'm gonna leave it on the car. I'm gonna tuck the wires away so my feet don't get tangled up uh, with it down on the floorboard, which I already did kind of part of it, but I'm gonna make it look real nice and uh, tuck it in. And if you're interested in this thing, uh, click the link below, nothing in it for me. By the way, there is no, and nothing in it for me. There's no commissions, there's no, they're not sending me any money, nothing. This is straight up, <laughs> I just feel that is right away. It just goes straight up just my honest opinion and you know what it's pretty much consistent with everybody else out there that i've seen the other five or six reviews of this thing i would also love to know what racer x thinks about it so racer x if you're watching give us your opinion i mean no question it's not a real tune or real engine mod or anything like that but man for a cheap five ten minute install to have this power even more readily available i love it pretty awesome Thank you, everybody. Please like, please subscribe, uh, please share this video, and uh, stay tuned for the next one next weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. It just feels like I can get my power way quicker. So they said it would be fun.